Everybody loves a good blurry background, but you'll find that most webcams can't achieve this look. You can do it with a DSLR camera, but that's going to be quite expensive for the camera itself and a suitable lens. So what do you do? Did you know that the mobile phone in your pocket may be suitable for this, but how do you get it to work on your computer? This is where Camo comes in. This is a piece of software that you install on your mobile device and your computer, and this will allow you to use your mobile phone as a webcam, but Camo comes with some features that I've not seen on any other application. First we need to install the app on our mobile device and install the camo software on your computer. The app requires to have USB debugging enabled on your phone. You can hit the blue text to go straight to where you need to find these options on your mobile phone. Just follow the instructions on screen and your phone will be ready. Once installed and loaded up, you will see that if you are an iOS user, then you will need to hit the blue start button for an additional component to be installed for it to work. If you're an Android user, then you're ready to go. Bear in mind that these are the options you can change if you are using the free version of Camo. If you purchase a license, then you will get access to all the other features, but we will show you all of these so you know what to expect. Plug in your mobile phone into your computer, load up Camo on your mobile device, load it up on your computer, and now we are ready to rock and roll with the software so we'll quickly go through the options so you get an idea what this software can do at the top we've got device which is basically our device which is a samsung galaxy s9 mobile phone underneath there we have our battery symbol we did plug this in at 100 so do expect some drain from the battery but we've lost around 14 percent within an hour underneath we have mode we only get the option of normal for this we have tried it with a samsung galaxy s21 and a Xiaomi Poco phone F1 with the same result. I do believe that if you've got yourself an iPhone, then you can get portrait mode, which means that you'll get a blurry background. If I can grab hold of an iPhone before this video gets released, we'll put it in here, we'll test it, we'll put it towards the end of the video and show you it in action. Hello there, this is Andy from the future. We've managed to grab hold of an iPhone. Unfortunately, it was an iPhone 8, which whilst it is compatible with camo, it is unsupported when you go to mode. So as you can see there, there are a lot of options that you can select on the iPhone, but as our iPhone 8 is unsupported, we can't test this feature out. But if you do have yourself an iPhone or an iPad that's got one of these green ticks next to it, then you should get access to all of those features, and this should allow you to get that nice blurry background when you're on video. So let's go back to old Andy. We'll see you later. We then have lens, which is basically the cameras that are on your mobile phone. So if you've got multiple cameras, you can select whichever camera you want to use. We're currently using our 12 megapixel rear camera. You can select your front facing ones, so you can see the camo software on the screen there. We also have the option of a wide seven megapixel camera as well, which will give you a slightly wider field of view. But again, that is totally dependent on your mobile device. Under there, we have focus. We are currently set to auto focus, which means if we come in with our hand like that, everything else gets a bit blurry, move it out of the way, everything else goes into focus. You can manually change this. So if you have an issue with your autofocus, you can move the slider up and down and adjust the focus yourself. Our next option is resolution. Once again, totally dependent on what your phone can achieve. If you are using the free version of camo, you will be limited to 720p, which to be honest, still looks very good. We do get the option of 1440p using our mobile phone, but our most optimized settings are 1080 and 720. Next, we have audio, which is your microphone. Weirdly, we've got back and bottom. I'm not sure if there's two microphones on the S9. I'm going to presume that there is if we've got two options. We then have frame rate. We are limited to 30 frames per second and we've got no slider there. So we'll try a few different phones and see if we can move that from 30 frames to maybe 60 or 120, but we'll come back to that shortly. Presets is another free option that you've got. So at the moment, we've got no presets selected. We do get a number of presets that we can select. We have saturation buff, which will slightly put more color to the image. Saturation nerf, which takes that color away. We've got mono if you fancy going black and white. Stim wave which looks a little bit weird probably looking at my best there to be honest tropical hawaii which just really boosts those colors we have orc attack don't know who's going to use this and we have lemonionia i think i've pronounced that right which once again does something a little bit freaky with the colors but we'll go to saturation buff because that is my personal favorite out of the presets under there we have the watermark you can see in the bottom right corner we have the camo logo if you've got yourself a professional license you can completely remove that 
You can also add your own custom watermark in there. Now the problem we had with this is if we put our own watermark in there, it goes massive in the center of the screen and we literally can't move it at all. So I'm going to presume that you'll need to open up your watermark that you want to use in something like Photoshop, resize it and put it at the bottom right of the screen and that should work. But I would really like them to introduce the feature where you can just put anything in there, resize it, position it wherever you want in the frame. We have mirror video, so if things are looking the wrong way around, you could swap it over. We can rotate the image. You could rotate it that way and get into portrait mode, but you'll find that if you do turn your camera, you'll automatically go into portrait mode anyway. We have the zoom option, so if you find that your field of view is too wide, we can dial it in a little bit if we want to. You have the drag to pan while zoomed, which basically means that you can grab hold of this box and move it around and get yourself into the center of the frame. You can zoom all the way up to 1000%, but the more you zoom in, the more quality you are going to lose. Now we have the light adjustment settings. We can manually set the exposure, which means that we have full control over the shutter speed and the ISO. So you can bring in a lot more brightness, but the more brightness you bring in, the more choppy the image is going to get there. So you can have a play around with this and basically dull that image in to whatever you think looks the best. You can turn the ISO up, which is going to brighten the image, but while you're brightening the image, you're going to get a lot more grain to the overall picture as well. So depending on how well your mobile phone handles this, auto exposure normally works really well. You will notice that if we put our hand towards the lens, the ISO level starts adjusting itself as well. Next, we have the white balance. So we can have the temperature at 8000K, which is kind of like a warm light. We can knock that all the way down to 3000, which is a very cool image. And you've got all the little in-betweens as well. So once again, you can have a play around with this, see what looks good for you. You also get tint as well, where again, it's going to be totally personal preference to play around with this and decide what you think looks good. If you don't want to play with that, tick the white balance, goes back to default. Flash will enable the flash on your mobile phone so if you're in a dark environment and you need that extra light tick the box flash will come on and hopefully it will uh, get you looking great and our final section is the image adjustments so we can mainly change our brightness our hue we can change saturation as well as well as contrast and the gamma and sharpness is one that you probably will not ever use really. Let me untick all these and you can see what I'm talking about. So whether we're on full or the least, we look really blocky and pixelated, some really weird effect. So if you were to use this, chances are it's going to be very small increments to kind of sharpen that image slightly. But we found that we didn't need to use that anyway because the camera seems to do a really good job. One more thing worth mentioning as well is at the top of the screen where we've got 26 percent you can change this which is basically your preview window so if we go 75 percent we get a nice close-up well it's probably not nice but we get a close-up anyway of kind of what we look like so to summarize there are plenty of options that you can use to fine tweak the overall image to make it look how you want it to if you've got yourself a modern mobile device then it is going to look better than pretty much any webcam on the market it has a wide range of support for different software and browsers and the application is still being updated which means you can expect even more support and improvements in the future. If you want to use this on Team, Zoom or Discord for example, then this will work great. All the changes are controlled through the software on your computer, so there's no need to be grabbing your phone down to make the changes and having to remount it. Multiple devices can be connected at the same time and you can switch from one to the other. Only one device can be shown on screen at once. It looks more tailored towards the iPhone user, meaning that you'll be able to get access to the additional settings under the mode tab. Now a few issues that we've encountered is that it's not so much of an issue but it needs to be permanently connected to a USB cable which means that you can't use this as a wireless solution but the one bonus is that because it is being run through a cable means that it will take longer for that battery to drain. Android users may feel a little hard done to as you can only get the normal option under mode. The custom watermark could do with the option where you could just manually change the size and position and what we did notice is that if we put a custom watermark on and we go from landscape to portrait, then the watermark moved. So hopefully this is something that can be resolved in the future. Now the big question is, how much does this software actually cost? Well, you can use the free option, or there are three different payment structures where you could have a monthly, annual, or a lifetime license, and each of these would unlock all of the features. Let us know your thoughts on camo in the comments below. If you are looking for some software to use your mobile phone as a webcam, and you don't need all these additional features, then check out the video that is on screen now.